Okay, now my guest this morning to my extreme left is a member of parliament for the Futu constituency of the NPP, Honorable Alexander Feyomaki. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you're doing great. Vice Grace. Okay. Manager. Uh, welcome to the studios. And then to my immediate uh, left is the executive uh, secretary of uh, the PPP, the Progressive People's Party, Richard. Uh, good morning. Good morning. I hope you're doing great. Mm, great. And then to my right is a member of parliament for Nofton and a deputy education minister in charge of uh, tertiary, Honorable Samuel Okujatua Blackwell. Good morning to you. Right, good and I morning. hope you are doing great too. Good. Right. You? I am also terrific this morning. Now let's start our conversation. I'm sure we'll have a lot to talk about this morning. Uh, revert to SS4, uh, uh, yes. Is that the case or should we? And then uh, the president talking about um, uh, uh, issues of... Uh, uh, the conviction of the uh, three. Uh, great news last night. It's already in here, commentary running. Let me start straight away from that one. Honorable uh, Afenyamakin, beginning with you, the president has uh, uh, um, listened to the voice of the contaminants and the petitioners uh, across the country, and he has taken his decision. Now, the commentary is beginning. It started last night. From, from where you sit, how did you see this? Well, I saw this coming right from the day these uh, gentlemen were convicted and sentenced. Mm. Uh, the party felt that the grassroots base was so hurt and that the grassroots base of the party was not happy because obviously these were gentlemen who were doing uh, the, the expected uh, uh, job for, for the party, as in spilling out extremist views, attacking individuals they felt were a threat to, to the government. So they had their own constituency. And it, it was obvious that anything they did was to advance the cause of the NDC in government. I was in court, and I could see that the way the party full soldiers were all over the place, expecting leadership to do something. And even after the, the sentencing, we had the demonstrations at the party headquarters the foot soldiers of the NDC felt let down. So straight away, you could see some impunity there. Even at the court premises, the way the gentlemen were being held and all that. So eventually, when they had to be sent to in Saum, it became a, an issue of politics. Political question was whether they should be allowed to remain there. If they are there, then the thousands or the hundreds of party foot soldiers who were out there, how were they going to feel? And this being an election year. So to me, the party has exercised a choice that should we allow one of our own or should we allow these young men who have been loyal to, to the party, albeit their extremism, to remain in prison? If they are there, then others would not feel the need to sacrifice for the party. So let's find a way of freeing them mm. so that there wouldn't be too much pressure on us. They didn't want a situation where their own boys would be attacking them that, look, we go and do the, the dirty job for you, and when we are caught, you leave us to, 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 to rust, I mean, to, to rot and all that. So eventually, you realize that they started with this petition where professors, my, my brother's uh, boss, the Minister of Education, went to sign, and no a year later, you know, very prominent members of the party went to sign the petition. Then along the line, that seemed to have been truncated and the prisoners themselves, the convict themselves, also put in a petition. For the first time. You mean before the, no, the, the, the book signing? They started the process because- The petitioners started, they, they actually put in the, uh, play, uh, the petition before- No, the, the, the party book. opened the book, started mm. the petition. Mm. But as it is today, the president's exercise of uh, 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 discretion under Article 72 did not rely on the petition. 
according to the 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 the, the statement from the president from the presidency it was the petition from the convicts that was referred to the council of state right so you could see straight away that and for the sign of the petition that mr president should have mercy exercises prerogative uh, powers under article 72 in a way got truncated from the way things went now we come back to the the, the convict themselves they have petitioned for the first time at least the chief of staff created a public uh, subjected a referral to the council of state for to the media to to actually uh, uh, take notes more or less that oh the president is not just doing anything wrong. they they just put us on notice that oh mr president is not exercising this on his own he has actually referred it to the council of state and it was all over in the media so it was obvious that we'll get here the council of states but you know you know that decision could not be done without the the council of states i am so. asking a political question okay when the the president has exercised a lot of discretion hmm. in making certain appointment where the council of state had to be consulted and this was so done quietly i'm saying that for the first time the chief of staff in handing over the petition decided to invite the press or made it public okay right now the council of states we don't know the content of its recommendation but at least from the president's uh, 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 announcement mm. it's obvious that the 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 council of states recommended that they should be freed what should be the basis for considering such a petition what should be the basis is it the case that the sentencing was so harsh is it the case that the people claim mean to be of uh, to have repented is something new this is something that <laughs> they, they they informed the court and the court considered all that and came out with the decision but let's be very careful as a country if this is the way we're going to go then it's a very serious matter you then mean, we are you, you mean which way as a country if we want to encourage political activists to offend individuals to offend institutions of state and give them political cover, then I'm afraid we are in a way trying to hold our political, our democratic fortunes hostage. I see. Because, it, it, because, because there are thousands, because, there are hundreds because, of people. Because the president has applied a, a, a constitutional uh, uh, mandate, you think it is political? No, no. These are party activists. That is a matter of fact. <clears throat> These are party activists who were championing the cause of the party. The, the statement that they made mm. were to the fact that if the judges were not careful in that Abu Ramadan case, this is, you know, they were expressing the feelings of the party. When Abu Ramadan's case was being considered, the fear of the NDC, though they would not admit it, was that, hey, if this NHIS thing, there may be thousands of people who may get out of the register that has been their fear all along so those statements they made it to the effect that the judges must watch it and refer to the the 79 uh, or 81 the killings of the judges you know some 35 years ago and all that the point is that we are encouraging impunity you don't think are about the, the millions who also think that the the, the, the ruling was harsh the, the verdict was harsh four months in jail have you have we looked at have we looked at the effect mm. of the statement made against the chief justice and judges in general against the judiciary but let's put that aside do you I think it was so harsh i i do not i do for the time being let me advance my my, my argument Wrap on up for the me. effect let, let me of the president mm. we have many people who are in jail we have many people that have petitioned whose petition perhaps i is yet to be considered yet we have individuals because of they being party members mm. they've been favored well i'm sure that mr tonilita a well-respected lawyer had actually uh, written something which was all over in the social media trying to draw people's attention on the effect of 
they are called on Mr. President to exercise that uh, discretion. Did you also see what Mr. Matnamidu uh, wrote? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Did didn't I, I okay. didn't read that. Okay. But today, the NDC is telling the whole world that yes, once you are their member, you can do anything and you'll be protected. I, I'm grateful. I'm, by the party. I'm grateful for your time this morning, uh, uh, Richard. Let me come to you for 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 the PPP. You were um, uh, organizing a counter petition. Your book got lost. Uh, I'm told that. Uh, according to your party, efforts were made to even get the president to, to allow you to present what perhaps you, you collected after losing that book. And yet your party claims uh, you're yet to re receive a response from the presidency. But for, for the PPP, uh, certainly you're not happy with the president decision. Well, thank you. Let me say, in fact, we presented a letter to the president's office on Wednesday mm. last week. That was, I think, 17th. And uh, the purpose of our letter to seek a date from the president's office uh, on which we can come and present our petition uh, to the president. In fact, the book that got missing was just, just one of the books. And so there were several other I see. books that had lots of signatures oh, okay. in it. So the your the books were many, well, not yeah. just one book for, just for, that, for the uh, petition. just one of the books called okay. Mason, All right. and we, uh, it became new. It's not been retrieved yet, though. Well, it's not been retrieved yet, okay. but uh, that shouldn't be, mm. you know, a problem. Mm. Um, it's not about we being happy about the matter or not, but it's about the security, the safety, the decency, and the discipline in this country. Okay? We are talking, you, you see, uh, we'll, we'll talk about the legal arguments and everything, and then like uh, you've been asking, uh, is it, doesn't the president have the right to, to grant these people the pardon? Of course the president has the right. He has the right. Under the constitution, he's been given the right to grant pardon whenever he, deserve, he decides to do so, okay? But you see, rights goes with... The exercise of rights must be measured with wisdom and, and then uh, the, the, the situation at hand, okay? What do you mean? You, you go into the Bible and the Bible will tell you in Corinthians that... Everything is lawful, but not everything is helpful. Everything is per permissible, mm. but not everything will actually help us. Okay, now look at this scenario. Okay, we have a, a situation in this country where vituperation on media has become the order of the day. You put on your radio in the morning, you hear people lambasting and insulting people instead of discussing the issues that are at hand. This has become almost like a canker in our media, you know, terrain getting closer to this election okay and this was an example that the court was trying to set to put fear in people who go on radio and speak just anyhow mm. now the president has nipped that effort in the back okay let me give it, you it, it, how it explain because the president has not totally changed everything that the court or hasn't done anything well what as, in, what in, will the as, ordinary as person what, the pre, what the, would the what ordinary the person did. standing by interpret this to mean okay here are three NDC communicators who are known to be attacking every person or institution that tries to say anything that they think is against the, pres the president of this country. Okay, Here is Ghana with a prison choked, with a lot of prisoners suffering, with a lot of problems in the prison, with a lot of people who are, who are in prison innocently, some of whom have even petitioned the president severally. Are you, are and they've not heard anything have evidence from to show that? Oh, we, we can get the evidence when we want it. Mm, but you don't there have it. There are several petitions uh, Richard, that... Richard, oh, oh, you, you look, don't look. have it. So no, don't, let, don't, let, let me, let me. don't go there. You stay let, focused. No, no, no. Okay? Let, let, you, you, you don't get, guess, you don't get, get Every year, things. every year, the president grants petition to some people. Pardon. Okay. Pardon. That's what Sorry, you're talking about. Sorry, he grants about. pardon to some people. Mm. Some of these pardon that he grants are based on national security advice. Some are based on... Uh, 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 Council of State advice. Some mm. are based on petitions that the people themselves have brought to the president. Right. And then they have considered it and, and realized that, well, we need to look into this matter and then we grant them. It's normally done once in a year. Mm. Okay. It's not something that whenever you bring your petition to the president, he will set up, uh, uh, you know, he will effect the process into, you know, action and ensure that you are, you are granted a petition. And so this shows us clearly that this is a president for only NDC. A president for his party members because there are other people who need this pardon who are innocently in prison because the court system system is system is a system that is managed by humans it is it is open to flaws that sends innocent people in there all the time 
are these the first people to go into jail? Richard, that can, we, the can, can we agree attention? that as, as you sit here, we cannot say that Kofi petitioned the presidency and his uh, petition has not been uh, granted? The fact that I cannot mention Kofi's name doesn't mean there has not been petitions to the president. No, That's the point no, I want us no, to underscore. Richard, no, because don't, every year, no, don't the president like grants if, if per don't pardon have any, to any people. Uh, information, just don't, <laughs> don't go there. The, the general okay. inf information is that right. every year, the president grants pardon to people. Right. And this pardon that he grants, it is not only based on uh, national security reports, but some are based on petitions that are sent to him. Okay, so the fact is that people petition him, and from time to time, the president exercises his prerogative of mercy. Which is a the, fact. The point I'm making right now is that he doesn't exercise that prerogative with the kind of speed and haste that he did with this particular case. <laughs> And, and that leaves a, okay. a, a lot of questions to be answered, okay? Now, look at this scenario. You are married with your wife, you have three kids in the house, and you have decided that at 8 o'clock, everybody must put up the television and go and learn. I mean, the kids, okay? One of your kids comes to you, the daddy, and says, well, mommy has put up the TV, blah, 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 blah. Then she come and cry to you, and then you go back and put on the television for the child. What are you telling the other children? You are telling them to disrespect the mother. You are telling them to... Stop obeying that rule. You are telling them that it is not important that they put up the television. Is it, is it as and simple as that? Did you, as did, you, that? did you read the statement from the presidency? Well, the, the statement is purporting to tell Ghanaians that we should be careful when we go on radio to speak because, but you see, action speaks louder than words. You have acted to show that you are in support of the people who spoke the worst of language on radio to the extent, looking at the history of the NDC, the PNDC, that abducted judges and murdered them it and then is, on it, the 30th it is, anniversary it is, not, it is not the pndc certain people were, were oh, but, but who were in, who were in charge of the country at the time yes who so you can say that but don't say happened. the pndc it is the history the of the pndc metamorphosed into ndc they abducted judges the judges disappeared we saw their burnt bodies and then on the 30th anniversary of that day your agents go on radio to still purport to say okay. that, the, that they me. want to visit such atrocities on judges, then you go ahead and release such people when the judges have imprisoned them. You are dividing the nation, Mr. President. I'm grateful, Richard, for your time there. I don't want to go to the black time now for you to react. And I'm sure you've heard your two other colleagues suggesting that uh, what the president did is, is, is wrong. That's according to them. Well, good morning to you, to mm. uh, uh, my brothers on the set and to our dear viewers, um, this is a matter that requires us to discuss dispassionately and to pay attention to facts. Facts are sacred. We cannot sit here and just put out information which is inaccurate, whip up sentiments, mm. play on emotions, and further aggravate the concerns that we all have about decent language, about bringing the nation together, mm. forging, forging ahead in unison. The very thing that has led these gentlemen into what they find themselves, where they find themselves today, it is important that we all stay away from, from that. What leads people like the Montier Tre to the situation where they find themselves? It is where we don't pay attention to facts. We don't debate based on issues. Mm. We engage in personality attacks. We just throw, put anything out there, like claiming that PNDC elements have made their judges. No evidence, nothing. We just put it out there. Every regime, every administration, you will have crimes, sometimes heinous crimes, take place when you are in charge. Are we to say that it was sanctioned by the government of the day? The matter you talk, you raise, very unfortunate, very, 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 very sad era, despicable crime with killing chiefs. So I want us to put away all these, you know, extraneous matters and, you know, matters that only raise the tension. Right. And, and we are not able to stay on the facts. So what are the facts in this matter? The facts are that Yesterday, the president, acting through his communications minister, informed this country, put out a public statement that the Muntier three have received remission of sentence. 
if you look at Article 72, the president's prerogative to grant pardon, there are four types. You have 72A, grant, a, grant to a person convicted of an offense, a pardon, either free or subject to lawful conditions. Then there is B, grant to a person a respite, either indefinite or for a specified period from the execution of punishment imposed on him for an offense. Mm. Or C, substitute a less severe form of punishment for a punishment imposed on a person for an offense. Or D, remit the whole or part of a punishment imposed on a person or of a penalty or forfeiture, otherwise due to government on account on any offense. So we see that it is D, D. that the president has exercised. D. Yes, 72D, remission. Which means that the president is not endorsing their conduct. It's not saying they don't deserve punishment. So he, re he, he is remitted part. And you notice that though the statement was issued yesterday, the presidency did not say that immediately they should be removed. He says that 26, so Friday. That means one month exactly. One month. So the president, you can tell that the president wants them punished and wants to send a certain signal to all of us. As the statement said, and I have a copy of the statement here, in case my brothers have not read the statement. He said, His Excellency President Mahama takes this opportunity to remind all Ghanaians of the need to respect the institutions of state and exercise freedom of speech responsibly, mindful of the need to preserve peace and national unity. The President reminds all concerned, especially persons working in the media or appearing on these platforms, to be circumspect and guard against the use of intemperate language, which has the potential of causing unnecessary tension, especially in this election year. The President is hopeful that all will draw lessons from the events leading to the conviction of the three persons mm. and bear in mind the consequences of injudicious utterances. This is the President father of the nation who is also in charge of discipline wanting these young persons who have made statements which are most 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 condemnable which cannot be justified under any any circumstances we are not like the mpp when their uh, colleague made statements that voltarians should be killed guns should be killed they went to carry him poured powder on him celebrated right. him mm. right we mm. we 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 right. haven't done right. that. Right. Right. That is not. That is not. That is not uh, when you were speaking. You, when you were speaking. Uh, no, no, no. But he's he's introduced facts. No, when you were yeah, speaking, but, I did not. But what he's saying is no, no. Right. So that I, is right. It can never be. We're all in this chance. We're all in this chance. No, no. Sammy. Sammy was honourable. Sammy. 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 Don't try. Not carry. Not carry shoulder high to the MPP headquarters. Can I get a chance to 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 react? No, no. Right. Right. With the greatest respect. Can I get a chance to? You will have your right. 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 Please. Right. We have matters. You will have. You have. We have matters. That you allow please, please. submissions please. to end, mm. then you come in. There are matters that I think it's Look, our collective there were, there were, duty. There were many issues Honorable to Kennedy, that I could Japan have come. never called on people to kill guns and airways. Please. What did and you, the uh, party uh, uh, never uh, carried uh, uh, him uh, uh, so high. All right. All right. Please. Wait, it is not right. Uh, 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 Sammy, uh, 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 don't see, try any mischief. The uh, man uh, has been tried. Can you go on? No, no. With respect, please. Right. Can the I, man if, has if, been if, you allow me, if you allow me, no, the man has been this, if you allow me to handle this, okay? Oh, we, right, if you, you were put him to street, he made a statement that element of use, you put him to the strictest proof. But I'm is, saying, is, is that right, not the fact with the that greatest, it is not the it is not fact, fact we that we no, the man was tried, right, with the respect. Right. Please, let me put it in context. If you make it, if a, part, a person goes to trial, mm. he is acquitted and discharged. Did he make the Please, statement? Please, can I? Or not? Can I, I did not talk about he the did crime. Not. I am he did not. He did not, did not make that statement. If oh, he had okay. made that statement, Please. the court would have convicted him. Oh. On the no no Please. the it, man it, made it, a statement. It, <laughs> Please the man I, I the man was if, went through if, trial. Mm -hmm. He's been he's been acquitted and discharged. Mm. Kennedy a Japan has not. It is not a fact that Kennedy a Japan made a statement that guns and airways should be killed and the party. Carried him shoulder high for saying that. So, so you are saying that he didn't make the statement. I am saying that the effect of his statement mm -hmm. is no, that he didn't make the right, statement. Right, right, right. With respect. I'm not right, you're not right. You know, you, this is not, not my. 
Yes. He knows. I know what no, he what, what, where he wants to go no, to. But why don't those tribal sentiments we should not. No, we no, we, we should no, not encourage that. And I will not encourage it. He didn't make the I will not want to sit no, here he for him to run away with those tribal statements. It okay. is not right. All right. All How can you say we endorse that somebody should? Was it carry shoulder? No, please. It is never true. Please, it is never true. Well, we leave it to us. It is not true. We are not talking about what to judge. We are not talking about what to judge. It is not true. I think that you, you, no, we should withdraw that. I will not. We were all in this country. No, right. With respect, I will not want to. I will not want to sit here and entertain tribal statements. That's wrong. Did that happen or not? Can can you calm down? No, but that is just unfair. Yes, can you calm down? That is just unfair. Okay, can you calm down? How can you say the party can? Carried him shoulder high for saying that guns and everywhere should be killed. Do you know the effect of what he's trying to say? Uh, on about your market, do you know what he wants to say? You can calm down. Photos. You can said, yes, you, bring you, it. You, yes, and play yes. the footage. The pictures you are there for the for you see. Play the Where footage. after the court verdict, he was carried high. There was power poured on him. On what basis? Based on the fact that he has gone to court and is out. But the point no, no, of the, the party the point, carrying him shoulder the high because the, please, don't let people who went to court, people who went to court, our viewers will judge whether those who went to court were NDC or PPP or P. WD. So if we can just let it lie so that he make his comment and then we can move on. Right, right. You can know you, when the you, judges determine you, the matter, uh, uh, they also place market, a responsibility uh, on the host. I, I have to take a break. If, if yes, let's take a break and resolve this. Let's take a break and resolve this matter. Because the judges also made a statement on host. Listen, right. This is not my usual style. You know me. The point is that if you say so that some people morning, had courage you, you, you to get the poor, but if you, you say that you the party, you are no, no, you you being unfair. You, you, I know you, what you, they want. You're disrupting you, the whole. Right, I know my friends on the other side. You, you, are, you are dealing you with see, your matter. You want to bring in Kennedy Japo and introduce tribalism against MPP. MPP is against Ewe and Gans. It is never true. Don't say that when he's not because he wants to say a statement against the party. My party never endorsed. The statement, any statement or purported statement, all right. Can we show respect to the audience? Well, let's we are showing respect. We will not allow you uh, to uh, get uh, away. Uh, we will not. Uh, let's leave it. If indeed it is the, uh, uh, if it is the, the, the people who went to court were not MPP, our viewers will judge. We have not said that, right? You are getting me wrong. He yes, says the party, the can party. I can I he says the party. Okay, okay, all right. I think you might come grateful. Honorable, please proceed. So the president's statement is very clear that his leadership mm. and as leader of the NDC and leader of this nation he will not condone, he will not endorse these statements. Right. He will not. And that is why the four options available to him under Article 72, he exercised D, which is remission. Mm. So they still have to pay the fines of 10,000 Ghana cities each and they still have to do time, one month. If you check all the contempt cases we have had, and I've been, I've been checking, since 2013, this is the highest sentence that any Ghanaian has, 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 has suffered. You can even argue that the statements they made, there were others who made similar statements, but were only given fines. But I will not go there. I respect the authority of the judges to make judgments based on how they assess the evidence before them. Mm. They have said that even in previous cases, for example, Sir John, who said that they should go and prepare coffins and all of that, they have said that those were, you know, the earlier times. You know, you know, they, they, those are the first times that these people were paying attention to contempt of the court. So they were quite lenient. And they, they said that in this case, they intended to come down heavy. So let's grant our revered judges that. However, there was a, some, some concern, I, I want to say quite general, but to be fair to the fact, there were others too who felt that the four months was enough. Mm. But we know that despite the fact that there were others like my own uncle, Uncle Samu Kujato, who thought that the four months was good enough, and that he was even saying they, they should have gotten more. There were others, like Professor Kukari, like Amnesty International, Honorable Martin Amidu, Dr. Atta Kennedy, Dr. Nyahu Nyahu Tamaklu, and many others who also said, including some of us who said, and, I'm, and, and I'm, 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 I do not regret signing that petition, calling for mercy and asking that, though their statement should be condemned, the four months was harsh. 
that is what our position has been that the four months is very harsh and that having paid the fines having fined the directors and all of that having drawn our attention mm. and looking at the remorse these people did not under any circumstance attempt even one day to be haughty to be stubborn to be headstrong and to say that they do not regret their statements. But some have immediately, have, have, some have, immediately some the have attention was suggested drawn. that even yeah. when they, they were invited, uh, the host of the show had gone back to uh, the station to say that well, for him he is ready to uh, to go to jail if 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 uh, they need be. Well, I'm I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing that for the first. Does but, it show but, that? But, uh, does but, it show but, that remorse? But but, but but having heard them, mm. you know, in the court, having heard their counsel, right, you know at all material times to me observing from afar it was clear that they were in sackcloth and ashes they were they were on bended knees you know very remorseful of their statements mm. and i think that we should place this whole development in context right within the context of the remorse shown within the context of the apology and the need to also reduce tensions and the fact that beyond even the president's right under article 72 to exercise his prerogative of mercy he as leader of the executive had carried out some steps taking some steps to assure the judiciary he instructed the interior minister mm. to meet with the bench the leadership of the judiciary uh, the bni also picked the three because you don't want to take these threats lightly the BNI locked them up for a number of days, interrogated them after put out a statement that they have assessed, you know, the threat and looked at whether they were, you know, they, they had planned or if they were in a the, position. They're capable of, uh, uh, capable carrying, out of carrying out that. You see, so we must take all of these things in context because, you see, it is important in these discussions to also, to also assure our revered judges that the president has not been one-sided, only concerned about sentiments of those who say that this, this, the, the, the sanctions are harsh and ignored the judges. You can see that the president has been very deliberative. He's mm. been very balanced. He moved. The first thing he did was to assure the judiciary that they will be safe, they will be protected. We know that the interior minister's statement even announced that they have increased the security that the state ought to provide to these judges and i think that it's commendable that the president acted very 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 responsibly and showed a lot of sympathy for the judges then it comes to the agitations and the calls for him to exercise article 72. even there you notice that right from the first week when immediately this sentence was handed down the president was petitioned i think the second or third day the lawyers of the contemnors mm. petitioned the chief of the chief of staff and then the chief of staff referred the matter to the council of state as the as article 72 enjoys the president to do you notice that despite all of that the president has not acted under pressure he has taken his time so contrary to what um, my brother uh, Honorable Markin is saying that the president was considering party concerns and party food soldiers. He's not, he's not doing that. Clearly he's not doing that. You don't think it's beca because the, the if you listen, if you listen to, because they yeah, are of the NDC if you listen uh, to, uh, flock. If you listen to party people, party people will have wished that immediately. They didn't even spend one day. If you remember what was happening in this country, party people will have wished that it was not remission. That even that 10,000, it will have been an outright party and all of that. And we all know that remission means that they are still ex-convicts. They are still ex-convicts. Their, their, their records have not been expunged. And it affects them. Those are not matters that party people were cited. But as the president said in his statement, he wants lessons learned. He wants people to know that in a country, law and order is important. As commander-in-chief, I am not going to sit back and allow all kinds of statements to go you know, on, on, on party. And I think that if all of us as political parties show this kind of leadership, we will not see the Media Foundation for West Africa has been every week they publish, you know, political parties that are leading in insults. Let's go and assess that and see whether even after this incident, political parties are learning, communicators are learning. Still, look at the statements that are being made. 
Even after all of these things, look at what people say about the electoral commissioner. I have been forced that if I give examples, I will, the program will be disrupted. So let me leave it. <laughs> but I also need to respond to the issue of... Quickly. The I issue of the president has shown that he's only president for the NDC. So I thought you had, you had handled that. N no, I need to. I need to provide concrete evidence. You want to do emphasis. <laughs> emphasis. I like right. that. Emphasis. Okay. My brother, you are in the media. Do you, rem do you remember that an MPP stalwart, MPP member of parliament, Honorable Adamu Dramani Sakande, was pardoned by this president? Based on health grounds? Yes, but okay. it is pardoned under Article right. 72. Okay. If the president is only there as president thinking about only NDC members, will he have pardoned MPP's Honorable Adamu Dramani Sakande? When that happened, we didn't hear people say that President Mahama has shown that he's only president for MPP. You think that that pardon pleased everybody? Those people in Boku who uh, uh, were not happy that you, you remember the case about you know nationality, passport issues, and then had won the election, and Honorable Ayariga lost out to him. Mm -hmm. You think that that pardon pleased all the NDC members in Boku who felt they had been done in by the, the, the candidature of Honorable Dramani Sakandi. But that is what a responsible president does, a compassionate president. You look at the facts, and it should not matter whether the person is, is NDC, MPP, CPP or not. Only 1st July, a few weeks ago, President Mahama pardoned 896 Ghanaians. 896 Ghanaians. Did he ask for their party card? Would you did, they, did they ask I, I, them to show, so, to show that they are NDC members before they were granted pardon? How as soon you as answer your critics who say that, well, uh, at the most Kande's pardon and the one you're referring to, uh, they don't seem to come close to what uh, perhaps the Muntia 3 uh, did. We are if your critics put in that we question. Are, our critics will only uh, say that out of mischief purposes. They will, they will do that because they want to be disingenuous. Because they are arguing that Article 72, the President's prerogative, has been exercised just because the three are NDC. And I am proving to you that that same Article 72 has been exercised in instances where the people are known card bearing members of the MPP. So you cannot make that argument. You will have been right if since the president, President Mahama has been president, mm. he has only pardoned NDC people and he, 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 he asked that if you want pardon, you must show a party card, show that you are NDC. Then you, can, then you can make R that Wrap case. up for me in 30 so, seconds. So this is a matter that, my brother, what is important is that lessons ought to be learned. All of us who come to the media, mm. who come to uh, make commentary, must be temperate, must be guided, must be controlled. We should not just make statements that will undermine the peace and stability of this nation. Let's learn lessons. Let us always remember that those three mm. still have their names on the records. Uh, they, 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 they have, they, it was not a full pardon. It should always remind us that there are consequences for our actions, consequences of our statements, and let us move on as a nation. I think that that should be our attitude. I'm grateful. Honorable I'm sorry, 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 sorry. A quick reaction, and then let's stay on if the lessons we can learn from this. A quick reaction to him, and then we we'll stay on the lessons well, we can you, learn from just this. Just so, for the records, you asked me if I can mention an example of somebody who has petitioned the president and the president has ignored. There's a lady called Rose Gaku. Gaku. So, so all of she's a sudden, a, you, you have gotten she, the position. She's a head porter mm. Mm, who probably is earning so little. Someone gave her a bag to cross the border to Togo for her. She was arrested. And the bag carried, you know, was containing we. She's been in jail for 10 years. Her family has petitioned the president to consider her and grant her pardon of mercy. As of now, we haven't seen any expeditious action when was, from when, the president. When was the petition, when was the petition oh, received? You, you are very, well, you are very much aware if, of this if, petition. You, but when uh, was it received? I'm surprised. If, you, if, you, if you can, if, yeah. perhaps, if you can help him, I saw, I saw this, but, him, only, perhaps, I saw he, this he, but only two He sits in cabinet so quickly. <laughs> so, he might draw uh, I mean, the president. I, we didn't attention. see the president help him. I saw this on the report. Who, who is an ordinary Ghanaian, a headquarter, a Kai, who deserves all the mercy that a president can afford 
to Ghanaians if the president is purporting to be mm. a president who so loves all Ghanaians. Yeah, I'm sure okay. like the 896 now, the president now, oh, oh, don't say you are sure. Lie. You should, her you time know, will come. if she is part, we should know. Her time if, will come. If you just say you are sure, mm. she wasn't part. I'm saying her okay. time will come. Oh, look at but it. How about so the, the multiple people, their time is now. How about the but for her, no, no, no. But Rose Kako is not part of them. Rose Kako is not part of them. How about the 896? She's not part of the 896. But how about them? Yeah, they have been granted. And I'm saying, those are the 896. It is done every year, it's an annual ritual. Every first July, every but you, 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 you told us that uh, some, some of them are also put in petition. You, yeah, and I'm giving you an example. Okay, so one which the president has not considered, mm. and that person deserves even more mercy than the Munti Tray. Now, lessons we can draw from this. You see, when people talk about the harshness of the sentence, I get surprised. Because, mind you, these people were not prosecuted for the charge of attempted murder. That's an incorrect offense. Okay? And if they had been charged by the Attorney General and prosecuted, they could have gotten higher. Okay? Now, they've been given something so small, and we are talking about harshness of it, just because we are comparing it to uh, recent, you know, cases of uh, 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 contempt that we have seen. Yeah, so don't, forget, don't, so don't forget. Don't forget that contempt. Don't forget that contempt is a misdemeanor, which carries up to two years. And if the judges wanted to give the maximum of two years, they could have given. So... Two years being 24 months as compared to four months and you are saying it's harsh you're also not being fair to the court okay now finally on lessons you see we from the ppp have always been saying that in order to ensure that there is discipline and enough pressure for enforcement of law in this country there's one person who is in charge of prosecution that person is the attorney general as we speak now in ghana the attorney general is a politician who sits in cabinet Therefore, his ability to morally gather courage to prosecute all offenses where necessary is impaired. And we have been saying that we should make sure that subsequently we change the laws and ensure that an attorney general mm. is devoid of cabinet. He's not a member of cabinet. He's an independent person mm. in an independent institution set up to prosecute crimes. Otherwise, we'll be always going back and doing politics with crimes. And so long, so long as we are doing politics with crimes, people will get away like the Munti train. <laughs> I see. All right. I'm grateful, Richard. They have not gotten away. <laughs> they haven't gotten away. They have not gotten away. One month in prison is not a joke. One month in prison. I like the smile on your face. Yes. Uh, things are calm now. So, does <laughs> this... No, no, this, this no. No, I hope you're not going there. This is my friend. No, I hope you're not going there. No, I won't go there. You see... This is my very good friend. Yes, I know you're good friend. I know. <laughs> Does this indeed? Right. Uh, no, right. I, no, I, I don't want you to go. I am asking you the question. <laughs> yeah. Does okay. this indeed, from the the commentary was saying, it, it go to kind of threaten the 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 credibility? I don't know if I'm using the right word of of the judiciary. What the president has done. Some have argued like that, that it puts the the, the judiciary in 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 a in a mirror that is isn't too good. Um. Right, uh, let me attempt an answer. Mm. Uh, but before I do so, I tell you a short story of what a client told me. I got uh, a, a, a client acquitted uh, on appeal, and he came to say thank you. When he came, he said, oh, I asked him about the Munti three. Did you, you were in prison, did you see them? According to him, he said, oh, when you get to prison, it's not all the inmates that are in cells. We have a VVIP lounge where they have a fridge <laughs> in, their, in their room. They are not locked at 6 p.m. They are in. They can walk about. They are not in cells. I see. And they are so there. Did you cross-check? Oh, I'm coming. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, let me finish. Uh, uh, all right. Oh, let me finish. Let, let me finish. Okay. Let me finish. Let me finish. I was there to visit them. Let me finish. I don't want to finish. Let me finish. Where are you going? Let me finish. I've never had You are from a foot to... Where are you going? Where are you going? Right. Where are you going? You tell me. Where are you going? Let me finish. You tell me. Where are you Let me finish. He's on such a rough road. But he's wrote to us. He's forced a smile from me. Oh, God. <laughs> this guy <laughs> right oh the people God. were according to my client all right mm -hmm. he said they were at the vvip lounge of the one prison and i asked him now these are i asked him that is is it the fact that they were the only people there he said no at the prison if you can really you know pull out the lajan 
you can have access to this. No, 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 Better if you, you so don't I ask him. I ask him that are you able to say this before the camera? He said yes, honourable. Me too, Maka. I pay up my in a journalist one day interview. So on the basis of that, I have relied and he's available to speak to TV3. If today TV3 will uh, can uh, make about it. a VIP award. Yes, about about yes about, about yes about the yes he's yes <laughs> he says that award. he's available. He's in he's in. He's in Tokrade. Clearly, lessons are not being heard. Yeah, he's in Tokrade. Okay, I don't know what you're about. Please, okay, move on. I've heard your but story. Wonderful. Are story. you ready you to on. interview him? He's available. Well, uh, of course, we will. Uh, you will. So I'll make him yeah. available yeah. to you? Yes. Very well. Thank you. No, no, you see, the president is hopeful <laughs> oh, that all will draw can lessons I, from, from the this. So I, I think that is where we need to be. No, no, Jack. Because we are running out of time. We're running out of time. You know, Sami wants us to. We run. I have only five more minutes, please. I have only five more minutes. So please, let's move on so that we learn lessons. These guys have been hot for the past month. That's according to you. One thing, Mr. President never made a statement. You see, whenever the EC is under pressure, people criticize EC. Mr. President finds space to draw people's attention. Don't criticize EC. At least allow them to work. This morning, oh, this morning, no, 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 I'm saying that. I'm, I want to make a statement in context. Eh? When the Muntia 3 issue came, His Excellency never commented. His only first comment, officially, it's through the Minister of Communication. Yeah. Right. We were never told that the Munte 3 were ever locked for a certain number of days for interrogation. Oh, you didn't read the BNI statement? Oh, no. They never said. They themselves, public said, they, they, their lawyers said they were invited. But there's a difference between an invitation and being locked up they for were. a number of oh, days, oh, according were. to you. They were. No, no, but the BNI, their lawyers did not say so. But they no, were. Sami, Sami. Okay. No, 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 they were. So, I mean, uh, so Sami is saying that you are in government, so you know that. If we can move on, because no, no, they were no, interrogated. No, no. Okay. He says that they were locked up yes. for a number of yes, days. The BNI but says. their lawyers said they were invited. So that, that, that must be understood. Oh, all right. Now, lessons. I agree with uh, Sami without more that people are not really learning from this. But if they are not learning, then it means that some bigger forces are encouraging such impunity. We must watch it. You're talking about politicians. I have not used that word. Well, which bigger forces are you Well, talking? but take it in its ordinary meaning. Some spiritual force? Well, <laughs> the ordinary meaning of well, bigger forces. Bishi and things like that. <laughs> you know, uh, we, we, we must do away with extremism. All of us must agree mm. that extremist views have no space in our current democracy. I should see Sami debate with him, mm. and when we get out, see him as a brother. You get my point. He's done some good things for me, but I will not say it. <laughs> anyway. You so, you say it, yeah. oh, you, you, you gave a, a, a school to <laughs> yeah. I lobbied him for a, a day school oh, okay. in Efutu. All right. He graciously added my constituency to it. Okay. But to date, they have not constructed it. No, don't worry, <laughs> and they have three months more to leave government. <laughs> no, after eight maybe, years. Why don't you let him vote, transfer his vote no, to Vuta? No, he will not. And vote for No. The ten that they have completed. The ten that they have completed. The ten that they have completed. They indirectly discriminated against a Futu. It was not a conscious discrimination. But because he says I was not charitable to him. Oh, no, he no, decided no, not to. Yes, it was like very well. <laughs> but I'm encouraging <laughs> Sami. I'm encouraging you know, Sami. Region, central region, uh, we've, Sami, we've commissioned the, one. Five are yes, ready but, for commissioning now. No, but in Futu, we areas. rarely gave you a land at it. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll start. No, no, don't worry. please. But you it's too late. President you are going. That's okay. You are going. You are going. This is your eight year. But let me conclude. That's why you need a state power. Yes, let me conclude. 
Yeah, let, you know. let, let me conclude on an important matter. <laughs> we have. He's made a very uh, uh, yeah. cogent point. You didn't listen. He said you need to let him stay past. So like, so I've, I've heard him. School. Don't worry. So I've, I've, get your I, I've heard him. Okay. Let, let me. All right. You see, Mr. President has been talking about give me a second term, give me a second term. Is Mr. President an independent candidate? We are talking about party. Sometimes they try to no, confuse no, no, us. No, no, no. The NPC is in its 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 Mr. But President was the head of the constitution. Please let me finish. I'll come to the constitution. Uh, I don't want to I'm making a I political argument. I think we are wrapping up with lessons no, no, nicely. Yes, but they introduced something that I oh. needed to. No, I mean, we, are, we have overflowed this Muntia 3. Let's come into a matter he's introduced. The NDC is going around campaigning. In one breath, it is the party. The party has a manifesto. In another breath, Mr. President said, Me, I, give me a second term. But look, Vice President. I'm not, I'm not making a legal argument this morning. Okay. I'm making a political statement. <laughs> the party, okay. the party on whose shoulders you sit yeah. has been in office for eight years. And within the eight years, the party has had so much resources, so much resources to develop this country, of which $200 million had gone into paying penal charges for CDB loan. 99 million had gone into paying interest Where from this? on, he's still on he's, Sada. He's still on the rough uh, then uh, 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 then the here. NDC That's government, government now uh, says that Mr. President needs uh, a second term. Which second term? Uh, okay, you are in your right. eight year. Do you agree that the party is your eight year? In other countries, parties are no, in power for 40 years. Your party is in eight once year you keep, in office. Once you keep presenting good candidates, do you agree they will that be getting two terms. And once the candidates perform... No, do you agree that you are in your eight year? It is not a candidate it performing, it is a party. It is immaterial. You are, have you performed Ghanians, on your manifesto? Okay. You said 200 day schools, okay. have you done it? Ghanians are looking at 200 day schools, have you done it? Were you able to right. do one, 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 one second? second. Um, you said 200, you know that. You said 200, have you done it? You are in your eighth year. Has doom so doom so been resolved? Unemployment? It's just getting out of hand. Are you in Ghana? I'm in Ghana. Doom so doom so, it has gone down. Wrap up for me. Let's go. Right. That on and off. On and off. On and off. I'm quite amazed that we are talking about Muntia trend and all of a sudden. It's an all and off. All of a sudden it has become a struggle for votes <laughs> but these two people struggling for the votes they I'll don't even you. have manifesto please, please, as we speak uh -huh. now please, your, your so party has a manifesto we, we have brought it out on yes, 16 july okay. and i'm quite surprised no, it's not yet time for them to come out with their manifesto ready. but they are sitting here we are discussing they want to copy us they don't want to they want to you're afraid they will copy you make it out if it's a good policy all right gentlemen i'm grateful i'm just so grateful richard amai is executive secretary of the progressive people's party and also a good job black hair is a member of parliament for north town and the deputy education minister and you should bring that day school. Tell uh, him. Oh, oh, oh. But he, has, he has promised you your school. He said, allow him to yeah, come. To come. No, 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 no. There no. Are what are they? They, they, they have four months at least. Do something before yes. you leave. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's a member of parliament yes. for your food too. And we're yeah. grateful, gentlemen, for your time job. this morning. <laughs> and it's a Tuesday. Have a wonderful Tuesday and hope to see you some other time. Thanks so much for joining us. Okay.